quarterback the last three games, two games like six sessions at Ohio State, whatever. Um, when you deal with that, um, do you really have to be dialed in on, on recognizing the defense and the protection? I know you don't. Could you do some all the protection, or does, does the offensive line do the protection in terms of changing the line of scrimmage? Oh, no, that, the O line makes the adjustments. Um, I mean, for me, I just called the play that, 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 uh, that he singled in, and uh, from a protection standpoint, uh, unless they check it from the sideline, the line handles all that, and um, I, I can't, you know, I know they're going to protect me. I know my, where my issues are on certain plays, and uh, other than that, I, I don't, you know, I, I can't, I don't really think about the defensive line or, you know, I can feel the blitz, I can feel the pressure, and, and know if I need to get rid of the ball or, or whatnot, but I, mean, I don't want to pay too much attention to that just because it affects what I need to do. How are you handling, uh, obviously, second half you guys really played well offensively, at least from a passing perspective. Struggled a little bit in the first half with a couple of throws. Uh, talk a little bit about how you're dealing with that from a mental perspective. Yeah, uh, like I said, came out um, you know, pretty good. First good couple of drives, uh, and then had those two back-to-back -back plays. Uh, back to back throws where you know, he intercepted and uh, mentally, you know, for, you know, forget about it. Uh, move on. It's a long, there's a lot of football left to play at that point. Uh, no matter you know what point in the game it is, you know, college football is uh, is crazy. Some wild things happen. So no matter what happens in the game, um, you, know, you gotta just keep playing. Anything can happen. The receivers did a tremendous job in that game, don't you think? Absolutely. I got that's the combination. What, what what are those guys more dialed in now with you as a quarterback and the fact that you played this many games at this point? Yeah, I think we have a great chemistry going right now, uh, a great relationship, um, both on and off the field. Uh, I spend most of my time away from the stadium with those four to five guys. Um, I mean, we just we, we kind of click off the field, on the field, uh, and we really started, I think, playing better on the field together. When we really started clicking uh, off the field and really making it a point to you know, do certain things together, hang out, go get dinner, so much like that. Just, and that, now it's to a point where it's just, you know, that's just what we do because you know, we like being around each other. We like, and then on Saturdays, it's, it's fun. You just get out there and just have fun. Kami and Patrick uh, added the mix now. Yeah, yeah, Kami always a good kid. What, 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 what does he bring to the table? Uh, yeah, he's a great athlete, uh, he's real physical. Uh, he's a big body that can do a lot of different things for us. Um, we saw that, that catch he made was, was a you know, pretty good catch. So just you know, being able to make a, a play like that is what he brings. Um, just you know, keep keep working hard on little things for him, and he'll be you know, special. How much does it help you knowing that you have guys like that that can go up and make plays? Uh, it's huge. You know, I don't have to be perfect at all. Um, I just gotta get the ball. You know, and catch a ball area for them. And let them use that play to help make the play. Donovan Hale made a similar catch. Uh, not as acrobatic as Camion's in the end zone, but uh, just as significant. Uh, and, and, you know, at what part of the game it was, we got some momentum going, and it was, it was a heck of a catch also. How far do you think you've come in just kind of maintaining your composure throughout games? I think there was a play where um, on third down where you dropped the, the snap and then picked it up and threw for a first down. How far do you think you've come? Yeah, uh, since. The first game of the year, I'd say, um, you know, a long, long way, uh, probably night and day. Uh, if I dropped the snap in the FIU game, I don't know what I would have done. You know, if I would have picked up and, and tried to run with it or, or make a play that, you know, wasn't there. Um, so just being able to, you know, pick it up and stay calm and, and know me dropping that snap didn't really affect the play. You know, the receivers are still going to get open. The offensive line is still going to protect. So just knowing that and just picking it up and just going as if nothing happened, uh, it was a, a, a hard step for me at first, I think, but something I'm, I'm feeling good right now. It seems like you guys have gotten pretty good at third down. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's, there's that big third down conversion late. Um, in in the Maryland game, um, I guess how far do you think you guys have come as an offense of just being able to convert on third down and, and make those plays when you need to? <coughs> uh, yeah, I mean I think that's, that's huge for us. That's a huge emphasis for us. Uh, it has been since camp, you know, spring ball. Um, but you know, I think it comes back to what I said earlier about just the relationship I have with you know the guys right now. Um, and I know where they're going to be, and, and I trust them. And, they trust me to put it on them in a, in a you know catchable spot. So it's just you know we're in a good rhythm right now. Uh, just keep going. Forgive me.